Hello everyone, Skits here and today I'm going to show you how to prepare your Fallout 4 for modding and also how to install mods using Nexus Mod Manager manually and also how to install any EMBs. So let's get to it. First thing you should know about Fallout 4 modding is that after you install your Fallout 4 it is not immediately prepared for modding. First thing you need to do is make some changes to the any files. Now for that there is a very good tutorial at the site I'm going to list in the description and a site we are currently at and we are going to use it in this tutorial. Anyway, like I mentioned, first you need to make some changes to your any files. You can find your any files under documents, then you have to go to the my games. After that you have to find your Fallout 4 folder and there you have your three any files we are going to use today. Now first thing you need to do is make them all as not read only which is right over here. Since uh, English is not my native language, I don't have it in English, but basically here you can see that you should have this thing unmarked. After that you have to open your Fallout 4 prefs. I personally open it with notepad, but if you have any other thing you open your files with, then feel free to use that as well. And then you have to find the launcher line, which is right here. Then you have to add a new line to it, which is B enable file selection 1. And then you have to save this. Now let's go to Fallout 4 Custom and here under Archive we have to add these two lines which can be found on the tutorial page I mentioned before. After that we save this file and we are ready for modding. So now let's move on to the second part which is the installation of the mods themselves. Like I mentioned in the beginning there are actually two main ways of installing mods. First one is installation through Nexus Mod Manager and the second one is manual installation. First let's take a look at the site you will be downloading mods from which is the nexusmod.com slash fallout4 and I will leave a link for it down in the description. Now if you want to download mods from this page first you have to register. Registration is very simple all you have to do is create an account, click register here and after that it will just take you to the usual steps of creating an account just like it works on any other page. Since I already have an account, I'm just going to log in. And now we're gonna take a look at the Nexus Mod Manager. So as you can see right here on the top of the page, you can see this install Nexus Mod Manager and we're gonna click on it. Now we have to choose your version. I personally use Windows 7, so I'm going to download this one. And then you have to wait until the Nexus Mod Manager downloads. Now that we are here, we can continue with the installation, which is pretty simple. All you have to do is just click next if you feel like you can read the terms of agreement. Uh, after that you can choose where you want to install the mod. And there we go. The installation will go. And now we can launch the manager itself. Now newest version also require an additional file which is the net framework I think. If you don't have it installed on your computer Nexus Mod Manager will automatically redirect you to the download page. I think you can trust it. I personally used it and downloaded the net framework from there and so far it caused no problems. Now that the Nexus Mod Manager is launched it will check for any new version and there you have it. Like I mentioned first you have to install the net framework if you don't have it. Now if it is also your first installation of Nexus Mod Manager, it will first scan through your installed games. So if you also have any other moddable games other than Fallout, like Skyrim or Fallout New Vegas or Fallout 3 or even Witcher, you can mod them with Nexus Mod Manager as well. But today we're only going to take a look at Fallout 4. As you can see this is the main part of the Nexus Mod Manager and here you can see all the mods you downloaded divided into different categories. So now let's install a mod with Nexus Mod Manager. You can choose any mod you want. I'm personally going with this one, Ellie Surakt Outfits. Now this mod's installation is fairly simple. All you need to do is go to the files and click download with manager. Now sometimes mods also require other different mods and usually these mods will be displayed before you try to download the mod you want. Now these rugged outfits require AVKCR and also Caliente's Beautiful Bodies Enhancer also known as CBBE. And if you want this mod to work you first need to install these two mods. Now if you don't install these two mods and only install Ellie's rugged outfits your game will immediately crash on setup and this is main problem I usually see when people have problems with installing mods. They usually don't install other mods mods that are required for the mod they want and that of course causes crashes. So always read the description of the mods you want to install because otherwise you might miss any mods that are required. Now since I already have both of these mods installed I can just go and continue with my download. 
now we're just gonna wait until it is downloaded and now that the mod is finally downloaded we can continue with the installation since the mod we downloaded is an armor mod it is located under armor category and you can see it right on the top now if you want to install it we first have to click on it and then click on this green tick right next to it and then if you want to see how much of our mod is installed we can go here mod activation key and you can see the installation process right over here and now we've got this mod installed if you want to make sure your mod is installed you can just go to plugins and you can see it right on the bottom here and here you can also see any other mods that are required for it now if you don't have any of the required files that you need for your mod the mod will be red and that is a first sign of bad installation after that you should definitely check out the description of the mod page for any mods you might have missed and most of the time mods that you are missing are also listed right over here another cause for mods not working is archive invalidation now archive invalidation is required if you want your mods to work and if you do not activate it it can cause some serious bugs in your game now we can activate it in nexus mod manager as well by clicking on tools here and then clicking on reset archive invalidation since i already have it uh, activated i can only reset it but i think if you are activating it for first time you will just have activate archive invalidation there but since i want to show you how to do it uh, i have to reset it and i'll click on yes and now I should have archive invalidation activated and after that any mods you install should work. And that is all there is to say about installing mod with Nexus Mod Manager. It is very simple and I prefer to use this method since the manager itself basically does all the work for you. And like I said it is just very easy to install mods with it and 95% of mods actually support it. But since there is a chance that your desired mod won't support Nexus Mod Manager, we are also gonna take a look at manual installation. For that we are gonna use Dead Gun by Skibada. Now even though this mod can be installed with Nexus Mod Manager, you can also always install mods manually. Now if you want to do that you have to click on this option under files, download manually. And after that your mod will download. After our mod was downloaded, I moved it to the desktop. Now if you download mods manually, they will be downloaded in a zip file. I think that most of you are already familiar with zip files, but if you're not, you have to extract these type of files with WinZip, or at least that is the most common way of working with these type of files. I think you can download free trial version on their page, or you can also buy it if you feel like. So now first we have to extract our mod, which can be done right here. After it is extracted, you can see that we have tons of other files here. Now, after that, best thing to do is open your Fallout 4 directory, which if you download the game from Steam, can be located in your Steam folder. For me, it is under Program Files. Then I have to go to the Steam library. Then I move to the Steam apps under Common. And there we have it, Fallout 4. Now since we are installing a pretty basic mod, we will put all the files in the data folder. And like I mentioned, we are gonna put every file that is here in the data folder. So now let's just copy all the files from here. Materials, meshes, sound, textures, readme and the ESP file itself. So let's just copy them and let's just move them over here. Now we can just agree to all the things here. And there we have it, your mod should now be installed in game. But as you can see we have this small file called ESP on the bottom which actually activates the mod itself. And we have to activate this ESP file manually as well. Now I personally like to do that through Nexus Mod Manager. Now first we need to refresh it. And then under plugins you can see the pistol right on the bottom. So all we have to do is just take this little icon here and the mod is activated and it now should work in your game. And that is the basic way of installing mods manually. But you can also combine manual installation with Nexus Mod Manager. And now I'm going to show you how. Now first thing you need to do is of course open the Nexus Mod Manager. Go to the mods section and click on this green plus which says add mod from file. We're gonna click on that and since our mod is on desktop we can just add it immediately. So we're gonna click this and we're gonna open it. And usually it goes under unassigned but sometimes it also goes to the any other category but I personally don't know how this actually works but anyway it will always be on top because it is a new mod and all we have to do is just again click on this green tick and install it. And here you can see the installation process 
and the mod is now installed. And there we have it, that's basically all you need to know about installing mods with Nexus Mod Manager and everything you need to know about manual installation. And now let's move on to the final part, which is also most complicated and that is the installation of EMBs. Now currently there aren't many EMBs on the Nexus and all of them basically use the same installation method and only a few EMBs also require some additional files. All of the EMBs also have a very nice installation guide on how to install each one of them and if you're having any specific problems then I'm sure you're gonna find your answer on their mod page. Anyway, I personally use Subdol EMB and that's why I'm going to show you its installation. Like any other EMBs I mentioned before, it has a very nice installation guide that can be found on the bottom of the page and I also personally used it when I installed it. So we're gonna start off same way like we did with manual installations. We're gonna go to files and we're gonna download the EMB manually. As you can see, it also requires EMB series, but we're gonna get to that very soon. Anyway, let's continue with the download. After it is installed, we're gonna again move it to the desktop. And again, we're going to work with the Fallout 4 folder. Anyway, let's move on to the second step, which is the download of the EMB series. Now the link for it can be found on the mod page as well. And I already have it opened right over here. Now since the EMB series for Fallout 4 is quite new, there still aren't many changes to it. So after the EMB series is downloaded, we are again going to move it to the desktop. Now if you installed EMBs for Fallout New Vegas, Skyrim or Fallout 3, the installation of EMBs for Fallout 4 is currently a bit different. Anyway, we're still going to extract the EMB series on the desktop and then we're going to open the wrapper version. And from here we're going to copy the first two files, D3D11DLL and D3D compiler 46 adll And we're gonna just copy them. And we're gonna move them to our Fallout 4 folder. Now beware, we are not going to copy them to the data folder, but we're going to copy them to the folder where you have your launcher application. And since I already have Subdol EMB installed, I also have to replace these files. So we're just gonna click on that. If it is your first time installing EMB, those two things won't appear. And after that, we've got these two files right over here. Now let's move on to the Subdol EMB itself. Again, we're gonna extract it here. And again, tons of things appear, mainly these three folders. Now we're gonna copy all of these three folders and move them to the exact same folder as we did with these two files previously. Again, I have to replace all the files because I already have the EMB installed. And there we have it, the EMB is now installed and it should work in your game. Again, it is a pretty simple installation for anyone who did any sort of modding, but if you are new to it, make sure you follow the installation guide. Now, even though we have the EMB installed, there are still a few changes you can make. You can configure your EMB local any file to your computer's available memory. Now, I personally never did this and EMB has always worked for me and never caused any stutters, but if your computer is a bit older, you might as well do that as well. Now, there is a very good guide on the mod page of the Subdol EMB and I urge you to follow that one. Anyway, that is it for this video guys. Today I showed you how to install mods with Nexus Mod Manager manually and also how to install EMBs and also how to prepare your game for Fallout 4 modding. So I hope that this video was useful for you and again I hope you guys enjoyed it. Leave a like if you did, tell me what you think about it in the comments, subscribe for more Fallout 4 content and I will see you next time.